JP Morgan no longer recommends selling NEO stock. You heard that right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. The reason why I'm doing a third video today before I rush out for work is this. A lot of people are panicking this morning because they sold the news. The, the day traders are selling and causing the stock to come down a little bit and people are panicking. Oh my God, what's going on? And a lot of people are commenting. They, don't, they literally don't know what's going on. However, the shorts are coming out and saying, oh, I knew this would happen. Ha ha ha. Or, oh my God, why is it going down? But they are actual shorts and they're trying to spread more fear in a technical way. And I know they're shorts because I've seen them in the past, the kind of comments I put on my channel. Because the shorts are in desperation mode now, knowing that their time is up and they stayed too long. And I told you guys this would happen. So why is the stock going down to right now? It's because the, the day traders are taking profits. However, when Emperor Lee release the, I hope he does this, when he releases the figures of how much pre-orders and when you see the amount of Model Y being sold, when, when next week comes and you see how much Tesla is sold again and their numbers decrease dramatically next week, this is my prediction. Only then some of you will start understanding, oh my God, Money Making Mitch was right. Because what's gonna happen, the people who are gonna buy Model Y, when they, now they have seen this lion that we unleash, this superior lion, they're gonna wait for it and they're gonna do take pre-orders because they're gonna get that incentive. Now, I bought 271 more shares this morning because I sold some of my BlackRock shares that I have, it was an arm of BlackRock and I broke even just to buy 271 more shares. But why did Money Making Me do that? Because you, some of you guys are looking at the stock price and panicking when guys like me look at it and rejoice and see it on sale and buy again. <laughs> so, JP Morgan analyst upgraded NEO stock to neutral on Wednesday. So this is why we were saying the analysts are fake and they lie and they say it's a sell because they don't actually telling you to sell it, but that's how they panic the market while they buy. So now they're saying analysts upgraded NEO stock to neutral on Wednesday. The EV firm recently reported a 135% increase in monthly deliveries. NEO is currently up more than 50% versus its year-to-date low. NEO is pushing further to the upside in pre-market on Wednesday after JP Morgan analysts removed his bear rating shares of the electric vehicle company. So this is JP Morgan. Morgan Stanley has always been slightly bullish on us. Um, Nick Lai expects battery as a service strategy. Listen very carefully. Nick, Neo Stock receives an upgrade. Nick Lai expects battery as a service strategy of the EV firm to be a meaningful tailwind for its share price. What? Did he say that? <laughs> Remember when they said it was cash burn, it was a waste. The company is wasting money on this. It's unprofitable. It's not making money. Mm -hmm. The negative Nancy's and uneducated investors and the shorts were saying things like this. Now, let me say it again. Nikolai expects battery as a service. He has a good last name. It, re it represents him well. Battery as a service strategy of the EV firm to be a meaningful tailwind for its share price. So now slowly they're starting to say what I was saying. And most of our revenue is gonna come from battery as a service and selling back energy to the grid. And I said it when whatever country we go in, this is what we'll be doing. He upgraded Neo Star this morning to neutral and said, Neo is scheduled for a soft launch of its first mass a market vehicle under a new brand name and that was that just happened he also said by successfully lifting the take rate neo broadens its tam and lowers entry price point for mass bev segment 
of below R&D 300,000 for two important volume models, the ES6 and ET5, accounting for 75% of sales in 2023. Nick Lai expects NIO to benefit from China's policy to lift auto demand as well. The EV company based out of Shanghai will increase its monthly unit sales from 15,000 in the second quarter, he said, to about 23,000 in the fourth quarter, he added. I expect more than that, but okay. His bullish call on NIO stock arrived shortly after the New York listed firm said it delivered 15,620 vehicles in April, up a whopping 135% versus a year ago. The electric vehicle firm is expected to report its quarterly earnings in mid-June coming up. And what do you guys think will happen with that earnings report for those who are panicking this morning? What's going on with the share price? What do you think will happen with that earnings report? It will blow the last one out of the water. Consensus is for it to lose 31 cents a share versus 42 cents per share last year. And I believe it will be even better than that. Note that William Lee, the chief executive of NEO Incorporated, was recently named EV Person of the Year, as Inves reported. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys understand this helps put things into better perspective. Our earnings call are coming up, that's going to be better. Use this as an advantage, in my opinion, to buy more like I did this morning, 271 more shares. And next week, 200 plus dollars worth of shares again. The next week, again, 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 until reality kick in, because right now the day traders are taking profits. And now is the time for you to buy. I hope this video settles some of the fears of what's going on this morning with some of you guys and give you the confidence to continue to hold this future monster that will make you wealthy. If so, do not forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where we're waking up the middle class to get a little piece of the pie. And like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.